Hi, welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the FMM Picket Fence Cutter. I think the Picket Fence Cutter is a fantastic tool. It took so long to make each individual slat, cut them to the same length, cut the tops, and then attach them all the way around your cake. With this tool, you can cut them a section at a time. They attach together seamlessly. It's so quick and easy. I'm now going to demonstrate how easy it is to make your picket fence. I used modelling paste, I rolled it out, not too thick and not too thin, probably around 3mm. Then on top I placed a wood grain impression mat. I used my rolling pin to go over the top of the impression mat to give a nice impression in my modelling paste. So nice and easy, I just pop the cutter on top. Make sure that I've pressed all the way around to get a nice clean cut. Move it around my mat and then I remove the excess. Remove any sections that you don't need. Turn it over and pop it out. So here you can see we've got a join ready for the next section of fence that we're going to cut out. So here, nice and easy, place it on top press all the way around, remove the excess, cut out the sections that are not required and pop it through. Very, very quick and easy. So much quicker than cutting out every slat individually as I was doing before. So if you want to take a piece off and make a gate, this is how I did it. piece in each end and attach it with water or edible glue. I recently made a castle cake and I thought that the picket fence was great if you cut it out, turned it upside down and used it as the gate to the castle. The picket fence cutter is so easy to use. Thank you for watching.